Hello YouTube and welcome back into another Dare to Game video. Today we're playing Valheim and we're going to be doing uh, all of the arrows ranked. There are 10, so it's top 10, but it's really every arrow in the game. So basically we're going to be ranking them from least damage to most damage. Yeah, and so for testing purposes, we're going to be testing this with the Finewood Bow, a level 4 Finewood Bow. So the best uh, a Finewood Bow can be, but considering this is the bow that you get relatively early on in the game, but a lot of people will use for much of the game, uh, this is the bow we'll be testing it with. But we won't be considering the extra damage added by the bow. We'll just be considering the damage done by the arrow. The first arrow we're going to start off with, uh, which takes the 10th spot, is the wood arrow and as you can see we've got a hundred of them here uh they're very simple to make they're the first ones you'll make in the game and they only take eight wood to craft them they have a maximum pierce damage and we're going to be using the maximum damage for each category for every one of these arrows uh but the ranking would be the same no matter you know which one we used so i figured max damage was just the best way to go but anyway the max damage for these is a pierce damage of 22 and they have a knockback of 10 so let's uh shoot something with them there's a death mosquito over there. There we go. Look at that. One shot, one kill. All right, so that was number 10. Let's move on to number nine. So at number nine, we have the flint head arrow. And this one uh, takes eight wood, two flint, and two feathers to craft. It has a knockback of 10, same as the last one, and a maximum pierce damage of 27. So a decent boost over the wood arrows. And we'll test them out once again on, on a death mosquito. Ah, hopefully before it kills us. Death mosquitoes are dangerous. There we go. Ooh, that was close. So, there we go. That's the flint head arrows at uh, number 9. Let's move on to number 8. So next up at number 8, we have the bronze head arrows. And these ones are crafted with uh, 8 wood, 1 bronze bar, and 2 feathers. So you'll unlock the ability to craft these as soon as you mine some copper, mine some tin, and smelt it into bronze. Uh, these ones have a max pierce damage of 32 and a knockback of 10. We'll test this one out on a death mosquito as well since there's another death mosquito flying around here. Oh, there it goes. It was an easy kill. Go get his needle. All right, so that was number eight, the bronze head arrows. Let's move on to number seven. Okay, and so at number seven, we have fire arrows. And these ones, uh, material-wise, you need eight wood, eight resin, and two feathers. These ones have a max pierce plus burn damage, because they do two types of damage, of 33, placing them only one point ahead of the bronze head arrow. But since they burn, they're more effective against certain enemies, like... Uh, drakes or trees like the elder monster so the fire will actually do more damage than straight pierce damage would and they also only have a knockback of 10 so since there's nothing else I see around here to test it on let's shoot this big locks let's see how much like the locks likes that seems to do pretty decent damage against him probably something to do with all that fur on his body I use the fire arrows a lot because there's so much resin in the game that you don't really run out of it All right, so that was number seven, the fire arrows. Let's move on to number six. Okay, and at number six, we have the iron head arrows. And to make these ones, you need eight wood, one iron bar, and two feathers. So you'll need to unlock iron before you can make these. And to do that, you need to defeat the second boss, go into the swamp catacomb catacombs, and get yourself some iron scrap. As far as stats go, they have a maximum pierce damage of 42 and a knockback of 10. So we're gonna test these off on one of the little orc creatures that run around the plains biomes. And there it is, down there in the water. And there we go, now he's dead. So that's number six, the iron head arrows. Let's move on to number five. All right, and at number five, we have obsidian arrows. And to make these, you need eight wood, four obsidian, and two feathers. And to get obsidian, you have to mine it from obsidian deposits, which can be found on most mountains. So you're going to need warm clothing, but you take a pickaxe, go into the mountains, and you should be able to mine some obsidian. And you'll be able to make these arrows. They have a max pierce damage of 52, putting them 10 points higher than the last one, and a knockback of 10. Here we have another locks to text, uh, test our arrows on. You can see they do a decent amount of damage. A lox is a bit of a damage sponge, so it's definitely one that I prefer to take out ah! from a distance. Ooh, that was close. There we go. Obsidian arrows. So that's number five. Let's move on to number four. So at number four, we have the needle arrows. And these ones, to... Uh, unlock the ability to craft these ones you need to go kill some death mosquitoes which can be found in plains biomes watch out because they're pretty freaking dangerous once you have them you need four needles and two feathers and you'll be able to craft needle arrows these ones have a maximum pierce damage of 62 and a knockback of 15 putting them five points higher 
than uh, the other arrows on this list. Personally, I think these ones are the best ones for PvP. They've got that nice high uh, pierce damage and a higher knockback to kind of slow down your or knock back your opponents, you know, takes out more of their stamina, I'm pretty sure is how the knockback works. So I really like using the needle arrows against other players. But like I said, 62 max damage, so let's test them out. Here we go. Oops, I missed. So there we go. I guess we'll have to kill two fullings. <laughs> Had to do it to him. But that was number four, the needle arrows. Let's move on to number three. So next up at number three, we have the silver arrows. And for these ones, you need to kill the, or you don't need to, but it's most easy if you kill the third boss and you get the wishbone, which helps you detect hidden metals, which includes silver. And then you'll be able to find silver veins and mine them, which you need to craft this because to make silver arrows, you need eight wood, one silver bar and two feathers. This one has a max pierce plus spirit damage of 72 and a knockback of 10. So these ones are going to be pretty good pierce wise about on par with the obsidian arrows but then on top of that they're extra good against draugers, skeletons, ghosts, all that sort of stuff where silver gets you a, a boost. So these are pretty good for all that sort of stuff but also pretty good on against any other beast. So let's test them out. Here we go looks like we're doing a lot of locks testing today. So you can see from that first shot you always get that uh, three time damage multiplier for uh, sneak attacks or shots from behind or whatever it's for. So that's always nice. But as you can see, it, it really doesn't take too long to take these bad boys out with good arrows, especially if you start from a distance. <laughs> so, again, that was number three, the silver arrows. So now let's move on to the second best arrows in the game at number two. And so at number, th uh, at number two, we have the poison arrow. And for these ones, again, you're going to need obsidian from the mountains, eight wood, two feathers, and you're going to actually need two ooze, which you get from killing beasts in the swamp biome. So, you know, you're going to need to go get them. But once you have ooze, you can make poison arrows. And this one has a max pierce plus po poison damage of 78 and a knockback of 10. So we actually have to defend against an attack. So that's perfect. There's a smell of sulfur in the air. That's not... Okay, when I say perfect, maybe I didn't mean perfect, but... There's beasts that we have to fight, so. Aha, there they are, certlings. The fight, uh, poison arrows actually perform relatively well against the, uh, certlings. But anyway, as you can see, that was number two, so let's move on to number one. So at number one, we have the frost arrows, and these ones are very similar to the poison arrows. Material-wise, you need eight wood, four obsidian, and two feathers, but for these ones, you need a freeze gland instead of the ooze. And to get freeze gland, you have to go into the mountains, and you have to kill a drake, and drakes oftentimes will drop them, so you'll be able to make frost arrows. These ones have a max pierce plus frost damage of 78, so the same as the poison, and a knockback of 10, so they're very similar, except the Frost Arrow really depletes stamina. So it slows down your opponent so they can barely move, and if they can, they can't attack as fast. So I actually prefer the Frost Arrows over the Poison Arrows. And on top of that, the Frost Arrows are very, very effective against any fiery-based animals or creatures or anything. So, Frost Arrows are the best uh, arrows in the game as far as damage go. Well, damage and, like I said, their extra abilities. So let's find something to test them out against. It's too bad uh, the... Certlings weren't in this round because, you know, they're very good against them. Here we go. One of these bad boys. See, it freezes them so they can't even move. They're just really good arrows. Uh, most opponents that I've found, I'm pretty sure it's always frozen them like that. So it makes it very, very easy to defeat, especially large groups of opponents in this game. So like I said, that's the Frost Arrow. The best arrows in the game. Mind you, like I said, each one is going to be better against certain opponents. Like I said, silver is going to be best against all those undead opponents. Ice is going to be best against fire. Fire arrows, inversely, are going to be best against uh, drakes and anything made out of wood, and etc., etc. So each arrow definitely has its own strengths, but as far as total damage goes, that is the ranking. So hope you enjoyed this video, but in any case, thanks for watching, and have a nice day, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching another Dare to Game video. If you like this video, please leave a like and a comment. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel. If you like my content and would like to support this channel, consider becoming a member today for as little as $1.99 a month. It makes a huge difference. But in any case, thanks for watching and have a nice day. I'll see you next time.